champion number two of the provincial tournament for the Taekwondo Gales. Despite the hat trick from Ethan Jackman earlier, they dropped an 11 to 5 game against Oakville. Now they're going to take on the Guelph Regals. Number 12 has it for Guelph as they start the transition. Number 14 picks it up. Number 14 setting it up to the center for number 16 trying to shoot it. And it got blocked out there by the Gales. Coming up through center is Ashley Mitchell. Mitchell's going to be on his own for the first scoring opportunity. And he fires it. And a nice stop there by the Gulf goaltender. He might have got enough of that. As Asher Mitchell went off to the races on the breakaway and he got just enough of the Gulf goalie to keep it out. Up to center with a pass. Number four. Trying to shoot it. It's going to bounce in on goal. Gets stopped there by O'Donnell. He's going to leave it there behind the net. For Jackman trying to get away. Ethan Jackman got pressured on by number eight. So he goes back in behind his own net. Number eight's gonna follow him back there so he gets away from him with a pass. Getting it over there for Jamar out of his reach. He's gonna scoop it up now. James Jamar coming up through center, getting the round number 10 and into the zone. Jamar trying to shoot it now. And just missed the far post. Gale's trying to get that loose ball, but it's gonna be Guelph that does. Here comes number 10 into the zone. Number 10. Trying to take advantage of the boys, goes around him one on one against O'Donnell. Stop there by Finn O'Donnell. Off number 10. So both goaltenders have come up with breakaway saves. And there's number 10 again with another opportunity that got kicked aside there by O'Donnell. Getting up through center, trying to get around number 5. It's boys as he splits the D. Luke Boyd comes into the zone and over the line. Got a pass there for Jamar out of his reach, McGregor who had a goal against Oakville. Trying to pick it up now. Looking for more with a shot. That one's going high and wide over the net. Just getting started here at the McKinney Arena between Guelph and the Taekwondo Gales. Guelph defeated to the, the Toronto Beaches earlier at 7-1. Boys trying to hold over number 11 in their own zone. Late pass up to center up red. Pick that one off, a nice defensive play by Ricardo Alvarez to bring that pass up. And there's a trip right there. No penalty. Alvarez trying to get away from the check. Here comes the opportunity for number two coming up there into the zone. So number 12 on his own. Number 12 shot, left pass stopped there by O'Donnell. Number three, Luke Boyd comes in. Getting away from number 17 at center. Gets around number 18 as well into the golf zone. Gonna take his time, just roll it back to the line there for Kenny as he goes off on a line change. An exciting action so far. The girls have had a couple opportunities, and so have Guelph. And both goaltenders have come up with some pretty big saves early on. Kenny getting around the check. Over to the other side, trying to shoot it. And that one's going wide of the net. Schuster's gonna pick it up off the board. Jacob Schuster fires it over there. For Brody Wright. Wright's going back to the line there for Lyndon Kenny. He's not going to be able to shoot it. He's going to get picked up again there by Wright. Gale's moving the ball around at the line area. Lyndon Kenny doesn't see a lane to shoot it. He's going to take his time and back up a little bit. Now he's going to get pressure and get around him. Kenny with the pass down low. Jacob Schuster got taken down before he could get a shot away as it went into the corner. Shot was off the side of the net. Schuster tried to take his man down and he will in behind the net. That means Gales will get the possession right back again. Heavy hitting now as both teams are starting to throw some hits. Back to the line for Kenny. And then Kenny takes it and goes back in his own zone for a line change. Coming up through center now is Ethan Jackman. Jackman coming in over the line. Ethan Jackman with a nice pass down low. Trying to shoot it there was Asher Mitchell. He couldn't, so he moves it over to the other side there for Haley Armstrong. Armstrong setting up Mitchell. Asher Mitchell finds Ethan Jackman now. Over there for Logan Rusler. 
Gales is passing the ball around well. Just trying to get that clear shot. And that one gets picked off. Coming back up the other way. Can he get away from the check? And he will, number eight. But Jackman still tries to catch him. Number eight, still on his feet. And he's gonna take that shot. He may went into the crease area, so it'll be Gale's ball. But he did some great work to stay on his feet there as Jackman was get, catching up to him, trying to knock him down. Number five takes it away. Number five puts Jackman down. Number five, along with number eight, tried to break that pass up. Logan Riesler takes the pass, goes back in his own end. We have 9.27 left to go here in period number one. Riesler got pressured on there. Finally lost the ball. It's a loose ball out in front. But number eight couldn't get to the loose ball. In the first area, Jamat scoops it up. Jamat getting caught up there by number five and 15. Nice play by Jamat. Got to roll it over here. Tried to hit McGregor over there in the corner. McGregor's shot is going off the glove goalie and behind the net. McGregor and Stone are working down in behind the net, trying to get the ball free. And the golf Regals come away with it. Come the Regals up through center. Nice play by Jamat to hold off number four. A nice defensive play by James Jamat. Now he tries the offensive part of the deal. Coming into the zone now, trying to shoot it. And that one might have just got the left toe, left toe of the golf goaltender. McGregor, you know, trying to bug his defenseman in behind the net. A late pass into the pocket there. Number four with a nice pass over here for number 17. But it was out of his reach, so he's got to go into the corner to try and fight him out for it. The loose ball to get the Gales come away with. Lee pass. Here comes Luke Boyd with it. Boyd getting around the check. And finally number 10 was able to check him a little bit, but Boyd still shoots it. That one's going to find the pads of the Gulf Foley for a face off. Well, gets the transition now after the save there. Coming up through center. This might be a must win here for the Gales after dropping the 11 to 5 one earlier this morning against Oakville. Number seven, Little John tries to pick that one up off number seven as Little John drives him into the board. Here comes the opportunity. Shot, that's a plus. A nice defensive play there. By Schuster to block that shot. Now Jacob Schuster goes off to the races, trying to get around number 12. Number 12 fell down, so Schuster gets the opportunity to pass it, but uh, it got broken up by number 17, and now the Gales get it back again. Landon Kenny. Kenny get around number 17, but number 17 walks it away. Here comes the opportunity here. Time for a breakaway. Unless Little John can catch him, number 10 on his own. And scores! Number 10 puts it in past Ben O'Donnell. And the Gulf Regals have opened up the scoring. It's one to nothing. I believe it was number 10 that was stopped early on a breakaway, so he must have had that in his memory bank. He put that one in. Asher Mitchell's shot. He fired it wide. Jackman trying to get it over to the other side. Was out of the reach there. Tapped in by Logan Riesler at the line. Riesler trying to wind up for a shot. And he got blocked out there. Riesler back to the other side there for Jackman as he gets away. Jackman getting triple team. Still shoots it. That one goes wide. Still there. Shooting it. And it got blocked there before it hit the net. Gale's putting pressure on. Looking for the equalizer. After number 10 has opened up the scoring. Early on strong tried to get to the pass. Here come the Gulf Regals up to the center. Looking for some insurance is number nine. Number nine shot. That may have got a piece of Ben O'Donnell. Goes wide of the net. Stays out in front as number eight was taken down in the crease area for Gulf. Number two working on Declan Mitchell Gill in behind the net. Mitchell Gill gets driven into the board but stays on his feet. Nice play there by Mitchell Gill. Uh, stay on his feet and still keep control of the ball. After taking that hit, Jackman. 
is going off on a line change. There'll still be Gail's ball with 4.40 left to go here in period number one. Jamar will take the ball at the bench. James Jamar comes in over the line. Dropped it back to the line for Boys as he tries to shoot it. Playing catch with it with Jamar. James Jamar gets away, shoots it. That one goes wide off the target. Tries to dig it free out of the crease area. And Guelph for the ones that come away with it. It's a loose ball off the court. Guelph free goes come away with it. Coming up to the center is number five into the zone. Number five is on his own with a shot. Into the Gills logo with a big stop there from Finn O'Donnell. Trying to get away from the check. In the zone there is number five as he gets in there for Guelph. Trying to whack it free. There's like three girls over there as well. On that loose ball. Fighting for possession. It finally comes free. To the Guelph free goes number 17. Number 17 gets away from boys. Takes a shot. That one didn't go wide of the net. Up into the netting. Should be Gail's ball. Going for a pass is Jackman. As the Gales get the first possession after the water bottle timeout. Taken down as boys. No penalty. And it comes free to Guelph as they come into the zone on a two-on-one. Jamar and Jackman tried to knock number 17 off the ball. Finn's got, Finn O'Donnell had it in his stick. Gales trying to get away in the corner. Here comes Jackman away. Ethan Jackman into the zone. Got taken down there. Now he's going to scoop it up again. Jackman, shot. Another right pad stop there from number one for Guelph. But Asher Mitchell gets on that loose ball though. Mitchell. Moving it around there for Jackman at the line. Ethan Jackman over there for Jamat trying to shoot it. Get it through the screen. That one goes wide. Takes the bounce out of front. Some quick shot and then Guelph slowly makes another big stop. Gale's putting pressure on. Jackman's got it. Ethan Jackman's shot. And it goes into the stick there of the Guelph goaltender. Jackman got to play catch up now as he goes in behind the net. Trying to whack it free. And now he will. Ethan Jackman. It'll be still Gale's ball. Jackman will get it in the corner. Look for somebody to give it to. Sees Jamat coming into the zone. James Jamat. 150 left to go here, period number one. Mitchell Gill back to Jamat. Out of his reach, he's going to scoop it up at center. James Jamat coming into the zone and over the line. Jamat's pass up, broken up. And here he comes back up the other way on a breakaway for number 16 into the zone. Fires it, bounces it wide of the net. Number 16 was a, wasn't able to capitalize on the breakaway. Has a nice defensive play there, I believe, by. Jackman to come back, maybe get enough of them to make him bounce that ball wide. Jackman with a pass. Went out of the reach there of Logan Rizler as he skips it up now. Rizler coming into the zone. Rizler back down low there for Brody right out of his reach. Gonna get it in the corner, set it up in front. Mason Little John trying to get the ball. They're just gonna dump it all the way down there for Finn O'Donnell to scoop it up off the board. We're in the last minute of play here, period number one. The only goal belongs to number 10 on the breakaway goal. Schuster moves it over to the other side. Here they come up to the center. Scooped up there by Brody Wright as he tried to corral that loose ball. Gale's looking for one more opportunity here before the end of period number one, but the boss Regal gets the loose ball. Coming into the zone. Try to get around Schuster's number seven. Spins and turns and fires with the pass. Stopped there by Finn O'Donnell as they stood tall to make that save. But there's a rebound out of front. Well, we're going to get it. And um, maybe get one more opportunity. 20 seconds left. Number 17, shot. That bounces in him for a Finn O'Donnell stop. There's a rebound out of front. Number 12, trying to collect the garbage. And there's a shot. And they score. At the side of the net, they collected the rebound out of front. And it got fired in by number 17 out of front of the net to make it 2 nothing Guelph and that was a buzzer beater we'll go to period number 2 with the Guelph Regals leading it 2 to nothing.
start period number two. Number 12 will take the draw for 12 against Jackman. It'll be a one draw there by number 12. He's going to get bugged on there by Jackman. A little draw. Number 12 gets away from it though. Sets it over to the other side. Here comes the up to you with a shot. Stopped there by Finn O'Donnell who stays on his feet to make the stop. He goes into the corner trying to walk to the front. Oh, a long shot. Scores! And Guelph has taken a 3 to nothing lead. The Gales have got to try and fight back from a 3 goal deficit now. Number 12 gets knocked down. Here comes Ashton Mitchell getting away from number 10. Mitchell's on his own shot. Back out of peace to the Guelph goaltender with a big start. Number 7 will come up with a loose ball. The Gales have had their opportunities, especially in the first period, but the Guelph goalie has been stellar so far for in between the pipes for the Regals. Coming up third center for number 7. Trying to set something up, he goes up into the corner trying to shoot. It's number 10 who's got the ball at the line. Over to the other side, trying to shoot that ball. That's going to go over into the corner. Shoots it now. That one's going wide. Takes a bounce out of front for number 19. It's going to get scooped up there by the Gales as they try and get it out of there. It's a loose ball. Trying to whack it free. It's going to come free to the gill. But it was Brody Wright that got taken down. Here comes the opportunity here. After the race is on his own, it's actually Mitchell's shot. And there's a big stop there as he was up against the post to make the stop. Still Gill's ball, legacy shot. Wide. That's going to get kept in there, trying to keep it in with Kenny. Not going to happen as the Regals pick it up. Coming up through the center. And a big hit there right here in front of us. Gales can't beat them on the scoreboard, trying to throw the weight around a little bit. Number seven, shot. That one's whistled wider than that. I find out his ball it is. It's going to be golf ball here in the end. Lead pass up through center, scooped up. Here's number nine into the zone. Number nine, sets back and fires into the corner, tries to walk out of front, that's not going to happen as Mitchell's going to try and hold him off. Quick shot, there's a big stop there from O'Donnell, there's a rebound out of front, number four, tried to scoop it up there for 12, but the Gales come away with it. Two goals here in the second period, one goal here in the second period, has extended the Guelph lead to 3 nothing. There's a shot that gets stopped there by O'Donnell. As Guelph are starting to become relentless, looking for more here, trying to move it around. Has it in the corner, trying to set set up the perfect play though, over there in the corner. Trying to walk it in front from the crease area and it's going to just miss the side of the net. Going to scoop it up there right here in front of Jamal. James Jamal coming away with the ball. Jamal coming into the zone now. He's going to get caught there by number five because they're muscle him on his own. James Jamal's shot goes high and wide. And he got taken down though. He's going to bounce all the way back into the Gales end. Then O'Donnell comes out of the net. He's going to leave it there for Stone. Luke Stone has to start it from his own end. Getting around number two into the zone. Number five. Jamont, trying to shoot it. He had his stick whacked a little bit. There's Alvarez in the corner. Ricardo Alvarez. Alvarez finds the man back at the line and it's Luke Boys. Boys, getting it over there for Jamont, shooting it. There's a left pass stop there from the goaltender. Boys picks it up again. Gale's trying to hit the board. McGregor is going to pick it up. Ethan McGregor loses it. And now it's going to be Guelph ball. McGregor tries to bug the Guelph defender in behind the net. As they started up through center, Luke Stone tried to take the man down and couldn't. And now, number 12 tries there, muscle boys to the net. Number 12's on his own trying to shoot it. He's going to shoot it there, and it got stopped there by Finn O'Donnell. It'll be Gale's ball after the stop there from O'Donnell. Move up for Alvarez coming into the zone. Ricardo Alvarez has the ball. 
Some nice moves, getting away from some checks. Number 14 tried to knock him down. He just fires it in behind the goal, bounces out in front, and bounces right to number one, who leaves it there in behind the net. Stone's got to bug his man in behind the goal to try and whack the ball free. There's a pass up to the center for number four. Number four with a bounce pass over to the other side. And he lost his balance, still rolls it to the net. And he tried to find number 12. That was a nice play there by number four. As he was falling down, he was still able to roll a pass up there to the crease area and just as the reach of number 12 before it hit O'Donnell in the Gales net. And now the Gales boy comes into the zone. Luke Ford got to watch away from him. This could lead to an opportunity all on his own for number 12. Nobody between him with a shot and scores! Number 12 with a breakaway goal has extended the Bluff Regal's lead to 4 to nothing. Number 5 is going to take the draw at center. Trying to take it against Jackman. Number 5 with a nice draw win. Goes into the zone now on his own. And it hits the Gales logo of Finn O'Donnell. With a stop there off number 5. Can't blame him from throwing the goal because most of them have been on the breakaway. Number 17 working over there in the corner. Tried to whack it free, but the Gales come away with it. And here comes Jackman into the zone. Ethan Jackman getting checked there by number 10. Gets away. Fires the download, trying to walk out of front. Right pad stopped there as Declan Mitchell Gill got stopped. Mitchell Gill trying to get it free. And Jackman comes in and does the rest by taking him down. Now it's after the races again. Another breakaway for Guelph. This one belongs to number 10. On his own. Stopped there by Finn O'Donnell. Armstrong with the loose ball. Haley Armstrong with a pass. Going to get broken up there by number 17. Number 17 with a shot. That bounces in high and wide. Over the net. Jackman tries to get it. Number 5 working over him. In the corner. Number 5 trying to get it free. Gale's got the loose ball. Lead pass up to the center for Jackman. Jackman with a nice gypsy to move to get away from the check. Come into the zone up there with Mitchell and Declan Mitchell Gill. Jackman on his own. Shot. Goal! Yeah. Ethan Jackman gets his fourth of the tournament and puts the Gales on the board. It's 4 to 1. They stop at center number 12 against Landon Kenny. Number 12 comes away with it. 12 trying to answer to that. Goal there by Jackson that gets the Gales on the board. Schuster goes in behind the net. Tried to drive his man into the cash for scrap advertisement and behind the net. Gales gets the loose ball. Coming up into the zone now. Kenny gets taken down. And now it'll be 12 ball. Going off on a breakaway. Unless Brody Ray can catch him. And he scores. Number 12 on the breakaway has extended it to 5 to 1. Up at center, number five wins it. Number 16 trying to scoop it up. It's been all golf here in the second period. They scored three goals. The Gales out one, and that was Jackman. Little John gets stepped up, and there's no penalty as it goes into the corner. It's gonna get scooped up there by the Gales. Legacy trying to walk out of front. Legacy drops it back to the line from Landon Kenny. Kenny's going to hold it there at the line. Landon Kenny. 
And catch with the ball. Drops it back for boys. Look for shot. That's got a piece there of the ball for a time. It goes into the corner. There's Levin Kenny with it. Kenny trying to shoot it. And he will. And score! Levin Kenny for a three. And it looks like the ball fully made for a time. Find it. And find it in the back of the net. It's five to two. So the Gales just trying to keep in this game. They trail 5-2, number 12. Gets away from Stone and into the zone. 325 left to go in period number two. Number seven. Tried to take the pass. It was out of his pocket. Bounces into the corner. Here comes the opportunity here for Guelph to scoop it up again. Number seven. Drops it back to number 10. They're going to move the ball around and shoot it. That whistles wide of the net. It's going to stay right there at the bench. For number four to help him get up. Pass over there for number 10. Number 10, putting the brakes on. Tried to get a shot through. As Jack, uh, boys had his stick up, trying to block it. Trying to walk out of front. Quick shot. That one's going to miss the net and go into the corner. Well, free goes pick up the loose ball. And it's number 12, who's had a couple in the game. Quick shot. That goes off in O'Donnell out of front. There's a rebound out of front of the goal. And another big stop there by O'Donnell. He stopped the initial shot and also the rebound out in front. A big tip there, Alvarez tried to skip it up. Ricardo Alvarez comes away with the ball. Alvarez gets away from the check of number eight and comes into the zone now. Alvarez using his size, trying to shoot it. Holds on to it, tries to get away. Ricardo Alvarez tries to keep it there in the corner. The big scramble there. In the corner, trying to see who's going to come out with the loose ball. And it's going to be the Gales. Luke Stone sets up Jamat. Jamat fires it wide. Jamat had the perfect opportunity to fire there. Just fired off target. It's still a fight for the loose ball, though. McGregor tries to strip it free along with Jamat in the corner. The pile up over there in the corner. All for one loose ball. And it's going to go to Guelph. Stone, couldn't catch a man. Number 11 is going to be on his own, but he couldn't take the pass. He's going to scoop it up, though, in the corner. Setting up out of front. Gales get the loose ball. Coming up through center. Nice moves there by Luke Boyce to get into the zone now. Boyce shimmies away from the check. Takes a shot. It goes into the stick there of the Guelph goaltender. Number one. He drops it back to the line for number seven. Armstrong tries to force number seven with a pass for number five out of his reach. He's going to get picked up there by Astro Mitchell, getting away from number five on the zone. Gales looking for a little more opportunity. Here comes Astro Mitchell into the zone. Has Billy Armstrong going to the net. Shot from Mitchell. It's somewhere in the equipment of the Guelph Foley who comes up with a stop. Number two is getting bugged by Haley Armstrong in behind the net as the play continues. Jackman. Tried to hold off number five. Number five gets away from Jackman, though, reaches the zone for the Gales now. Shot. That goes wide, or it might have hit the blocker there of Finn O'Donnell at the crease. Violation over there in the corner. And there will be Guelph ball to end period number two. And it's number two that has it. He's going to try and get the shot away before the buzzer. But Jackman is making sure that doesn't happen. A nice defensive play by Jackman to make sure that number two didn't get a shot off before the buzzer. And the Gales still have a mountain to climb. They trail this one. Five to two, heading to period number three. Off to start the final period between these two clubs. Guelph had three goals in period number two, and the Gales had two of them, which has led to a 5 2 lead here for the Regals as they try and hold on here against the Gales. Jackman 
Set up number four, trying to get to the loose ball. Over there in the corner, here comes Matthew Mitchell. Matthew Mitchell with the wheels. Gets to the center court. Shot. That one's going wider than that. As Mitchell tried to pick the corner and was just off target. 12 free throws come up with a loose ball. Try for a lead pass. Still picked up by Jackman. Ethan Jackman's on his own. Spins away. Shot. Fires it wide. Jackman had the opportunity after he picked it off and had a breakaway. Just couldn't bury it. He's had a great tournament so far, as mentioned. He's got four goals so far, including one here in this game. But that was one that he could not bury, and it still stays at 5-2 to two in favor of Guo. Jamak has the ball over there at his bench. That's where the transition is going to start, getting away from number 12. Over there for Boyd. Luke Boyd took the pass at the line. As he tries to shoot it, he's going to take his time there. Fire it over to the other side for Jackman with a shot. And the right pad stop. As some quick reflexes there from the Guelph Valley kick to the side. Here comes the opportunity to lead it out of their zone now. Pass up there for number 17 as he picks it up. Number 17 comes in over the line. Tried to shoot it. Gets around, boys. Opportunity here with a shot. It's going to flutter in wide of the net. Going to go into the corner there as number four tries to scoop it, and he will. And that's very number, number 11. Number 11 tried for a pass over there for number 17, and it was out of his reach. The Gales try and scoop it up in their own end. Gales get possession, and off to the races goes Luke Boyd, trying to run number 12. Had the stick whacked out of his hands. Number 12 with a pass. It's a 2 on number 17 and number 7 are coming in. Number 17, a shot. Makes no mistake as he goes to the left post and in to make it 6-2 in favor of growth. It's up at center. Let me Kenny will take it. Trying to scoop it up. He's got the other goal in the game. Luke Stone tries to get it. Tried to knock number 8 down. That's not going to work. Well, Regals pick up the loose ball. Come up to center. Well, the win that will improve Guelph to 2 0 after their win over the beaches earlier, 7 1. So, this could potentially drop the Gales 0 and 2 and put them in a deep hole to try and make the quarterfinal tomorrow. They could use, it might take some help for the Gales to get in. They will have one more round robin game tomorrow, though, at 3 30 at Iroquois against the beaches. Number eight. They pass up their center. Get it away from Kenny is number 18 into the zone. Shot. That goes off Finn O'Donnell as he makes a stop. Rolls in behind the net. Trying to set it up in front. Picked off there by the Gills. Here they come. Up into the zone now is Legacy. Keaton Legacy had got taken down as it rolls. And behind the net. Stripping it up now. Getting away from the check. Logan Rizzo tried to hold off number two as Luke Stone took him down. Comes up to on his own and scores. Number four bounced it in and that'll make it eight to two in favor of 12. So, yeah. Seven to two now in favor of Guelph. Coming into the zone now is number 12. Drop the back to number 16 as number 4 tries to scoop it up. Number 4 is getting worked over there by Jacob Schuster behind the goal. Three Gales are back there trying to whack away at one ball. And Haley Armstrong gets it. Picked off though by number 16. Fires back and it got blocked there by Schuster. Alfred tried to work over number 4 over there. And pick up the loose ball. A sandwich in there and as Alfred doing everything he can to get it away from two Guelph defenders. Throws them behind the net. He tries to walk away as number 14. Nice defensive play by Haley Armstrong to whack it away from number 14. Still has to do some work though. Number 8 gets met there by Ethan Jackman with a big hit. As Ethan Jackman put him down with a big hit. Scales gets the loose ball. Jamal got tripped up. Jackman trying to strip it before number 14. 
Jackman into the zone. Got taken down. This one's going to be a penalty coming up here to number 16. Gale start the power play on the tripping call. Gales are going to go off on a line change before we start things. It'll be a four minute penalty. So the Gales will get to work on their power play and maybe at least get one more here and cut into the lead a little bit. Boys has it. Luke Boys comes into the zone and over the line. Boys over there for Jackman out of his reach. Ethan Jackman gonna scoop it up. Jackman. Getting away. Trying to shoot it. That one hits some ball free goes around. Out of front with a block shot. Kill some time there back in their own end. Luke Boys. Over there for Jackman. Jackman escaping some checks and takes a shot. That's just going to whistle in wide. Trying to scoop it up behind the net is Little John. And walk out of front. Mason Little John shot. That hit the side of the net. So number one is going to scoop it up there for Guelph. Try and find it in his equipment. And now he rolls it up to Mason Little John. going to try and pick it off over there at the Guelph fence. Nice play by Little John to whack it free. And now it's Gale's possession with Jackman. Ethan Jackman comes in. Trying to shoot it. And he got taken down before he could shoot it. Just rolls it in on net though. Jackman drives his man into the board. That's going bouncing all the way down. It's going to be picked up there by boys in his own end. Rich boys up their center. Into the lead. Starting the transition into the zone. 7 to 2 in favor of the Guelph Regals here. Setting it up to the other side with Jackman. He got broken up. It was two goals in the first period, three goals in the second, and two more here in the third period that has opened up the 7 2 lead as Jackman tries to whack it away against Little John and couldn't. Gets bounced all the way down. Taking care of Marie Kidjanot. He's going to pick up the loose ball. James Jamal with a pass over there, trying to start it up through center. Here come the Gills with Landon Kenny at center, coming in and waiting for the help. Finally reaches the zone. Landon Kenny moves it over to the other side there for Mitchell. It bounced past him as Legacy tries to pick it up as well. And it's going to get fired all the way down. Right in behind the net. Then O'Donnell leaves it there for Kenny. Then Kenny hustling up through center. Reaches the golf zone now. One minute exactly left to go here on the power play. And 5.40 left to go here in the game. Kenny over to the other side. He's going to get broken up there by number 12, trying to pick it up as he took the man into the board. Legacy. Cut and whack it away. Guelph gets the loose ball. And they're just going to try the Hail Mary pass and get it out. Landon Kenny picked it off. 30 seconds on the power play. Landon Kenny setting it up, picks a shot, whistles wide of the net. Tries to hop out in front. And there's another quick shot that bounces wide. Setting up Logan Rusler now. Rusler. His pass up here for London Kenny. Was out of his reach, so he's got to go over and retrieve it. Kenny. Back down low. For Asher Mitchell, but it was out of his pocket. As a golf defender goes sliding into the board. Mitchell trying to pick it up now. He's just going to fire down the court, a smart play there, as it just bounces in, and it took a funny bounce there on Finn O'Donnell, and luckily for him, it bounced in, past the net, off the back end board. Here comes the Gales up through center with Landon Kenny. The power play is now over on that four minute penalty to Guelph. Now there's only about four minutes left in the game. 
for the Gales to work with. Landon Kenny. Kenny gets away. Drops it over to the other side for Rizmo as he tries to shoot it. And now he will, but it only hits the Guelph Rizmo defender out of front with a block shot. Here comes the up to the center. Landon Kenny tries to catch him, but he's going to get away with a shot. And it bounces in wide. Number two trying to get the loose ball against Legacy. Caden Legacy is going to scoop it, but he's going to have some company there with the ball. Legacy trying to get a shot away, but he got defended too well by the defenseman as it just bounces in all the way in on Finn O'Donnell to make the stop. And number 12 is going to try and whack it out of his stick. Brody Rice can hold it. Big shot there from number 12 that bounced in wide. Number 12 against Luke Stone over there in the corner. Gales get the loose ball. Coming up into the zone. Took a fast check there. And here comes Stone on it. Luke Stone with a pass up through center. Getting away from number 14. Putting the brakes on his Brody right with a shot that didn't make it through. But it got kept in there by Luke Boyce only for a minute as it got washed away. And now number 17 gets to go off to the races again. But this one he just fired wide of the left post. Cody Wright had to scoop it up and couldn't. It's a funny bouncing ball over there. Finally gets corralled there by Luke Stone. Stone comes up through center. There's the attempted pass up broken up. 225 left. Haley Armstrong tries to do the work and knock the head. Walking in all on his own. And a shot that goes off the iron in behind Finn O'Donnell. Number four tried to knock down McGregor, but McGregor was able to elude the check. And now number 16 is able to knock him down. So they didn't knock McGregor down the first time, but number 16 was successful in doing so. And it's still a loose ball there for the Gills. Might get a penalty here coming up. And only he's going to go to McGregor, so the 12 free goes get to have a power play. For, and if they don't score, it'll be a power play for the rest of the game, as there's only a minute 58 left in it. They're just going to hold it there, right over there at the bench. And now they start to transition into the zone. Starting up slowly and over the line was number 10, as he moves it over there for number 7. Number seven is going to get bugged out by boys, but spin off the check and have it at the line. There's number 10 with it. Number 10. Drops it over there for number 11, but it's passed for number 8. It's too far. Trying to get to the loose ball. There's that loose stone trying to get it free and doing everything he can to get it away from number 8, along with Haley Armstrong and Brody Wright. And get a whistle. It'll be Gale's ball. Starting from the corner. Boys will have it back in behind his own net. Rolls it over to the other side. 115 left as Jackman gets the loose ball. Here comes Jackman up through center. With some nice moves to get away from number five. Jackman. Back down left for Jamat, but his pass was too far. Jamat tried to work over his man. Jackman tries to keep it in and does all he can and Made a nice defensive play to stick his stick out and make sure the ball didn't make it down the court. And now he corrals it. Ethan Jackman with the ball on his end. A back down left for Jamat. Tried to get a shot through his screen and number 11 was able to block it. 40 seconds left. Just gets fired all the way down the court. 
Captain O'Donnell's coming out to get it. Gonna leave it for Jackman. Ethan Jackman comes up to the center. 25 seconds left as Jackman kicks it and comes in over the line. Ethan Jackman has a waving stick in front of him, number 10. Gets away from him, tries to shoot it now. Goes wide, takes a bounce out of front. And the Gales couldn't corral the loose ball. Five seconds left. It's going to bounce in behind the goal. And that'll do it for the game. The Gulf Regals come up with the win. As mentioned, they had two goals in the first period, three in the second, and then capped it off with a two-goal third period. And it was goals by Jackman. Jackman and Kenny in the game for the Gales. So I have one more game left against the Toronto Beaches tomorrow at 3.30. I'm the voice of MJ Broadcasting, Mike Jackman.